the, of course, warnings and radar, and there's a lot in the way of warnings to deal with for us as well. All across western New Mexico, what we have here are winter storm warnings in place. Right now, many western areas getting a little bit of rain, but that's going to end up changing over to snow tomorrow. Across the northern mountains, we also have winter storm warnings, and down into the east mountains as well. Albuquerque is not included in this, but let's wait and see how things shake out tomorrow. We're going to have a chance at at least grabbing some snow in the metro, at least an inch or two, hopefully. Anyway, now as far as the radar goes at this point, here's what we're looking at, and you can see a lot of moisture over Arizona at this point, and it is heading in our direction. Now, most of it over Arizona is still rain. The reason for that is out in front, along the front edge of the storm, is what you're looking at over Arizona. We still have plenty of southwesterly wind coming up and warming the air, so a lot of what falls is rain. But into tomorrow, what starts to change is we drag a cold front in behind that, so you get the rain first, and then you go ahead and change it over to snow, and that will happen in the metro area as well. We'll start off with rain early tomorrow, and then we'll get a chance at getting some snow as well by tomorrow afternoon. Let's go and show you the temperatures out there, which really aren't too bad. And you can see in the metro, we got a few showers just kind of skipping their way on through, but nothing that's causing too many problems yet. And up here in the four corners, plenty of snow falling, even though we're not necessarily picking up a lot of it on the radar. Temperatures right now, not bad, right at freezing in Durango, so it's not all that cold. There's plenty of, again, warm air flowing up through here, at least comparatively. Albuquerque, a warm 48, 54 down in Las Cruces. Looking at satellite and radar at this point, here's what we've got. Got our storm system sitting off to our west. Lots of moisture flowing in and, of course, helping to kick up those winds across the area as well. We are looking at winds right now in the metro. Gusts around 20, 22 miles an hour, so the winds are with us, no doubt about that, and gusts even higher, as you see across many areas like Ruido so as well and down across the southwest now looking at the southwest satellite and radar you can see all that moisture there is a huge plume with this storm it's done a very good job of drawing in moisture from the pacific so as it pushes in most of it as you can tell there is rain but if you get up into the san juans we change it over to snow well throughout the night tonight that warm flow will continue but as we head into tomorrow morning that warm flow behind the cold front will shift it will get much much colder and we'll have a chance to start bringing and piling piling up the snow in the mountains and in some valley sections by tomorrow afternoon as well. So just because we have rain now doesn't mean we're not going to see snow tomorrow. We are. Here's a look at the storm track as far as the precip goes, and you can see it across the west tonight, mainly dealing with rain across the area, but then it'll change. Those oranges and yellows eventually change over to blues as we drive the cold front in here. You can see it across the west there tomorrow, and then it'll push into central sections in the metro tomorrow afternoon we'll have a chance at a few inches of snow as well as that cold front starts to push its way through and then snow showers will continue as you can see behind it throughout the night Friday night and maybe into Saturday morning across the northwest snow will continue tonight and throughout the day tomorrow a foot here in Durango is a good bet two feet over the higher peaks of the San Juans additionally additionally two feet down across the southwest mainly rain for tonight but into tomorrow snow levels will come down we'll start piling up the snow in the Gila tomorrow one to two feet will be possible there as well. Across southeastern New Mexico, you guys have just really, it looks like at this point, just too much warm air. So essentially what will happen there is some scattered showers for tomorrow across southeastern portions. Northeast, we are going to drive that cold front through tomorrow afternoon. That will lead to one to two, maybe three inches of snow around Raton and Las Vegas. Could see a little more than that in the Mora area as well. And if you get out toward Roy and Clayton, again, not a whole lot from this storm. It's going to dump most of the moisture well to the west of you guys. Over the northern mountains, one to two feet of snow will be possible by the time we're all said and done on Saturday morning. Any rain we see overnight will change over to snow tomorrow. And as we look at the East Mountains, things for the most part are going to be pretty active by tomorrow. Again, don't be surprised early on if we end up with some rain showers overnight and into tomorrow morning, but then we'll change it over to snow throughout the day tomorrow, and we could see in excess of a foot in the high Sandias. Meanwhile, here in the Albuquerque area, we're going to see the possibility of rain showers continuing tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then we'll change it over to some snow tomorrow afternoon with a few inches possible. Now, with a storm like this, Michael, one thing to think about as we look at the seven-day here is that we are going to have a shot at a little more snow tomorrow. If we can get that cold front in here and set up a moisture band, we could do one, two, three inches of snow here. And if things start to change, we'll of course let you know that we're going to get a little more snow. But at this point, looks on the lower side here. And part of the reason for that, with El Nino storms like this, they are very, very warm in most cases. So what they really help for is a lot of mountain snowpack, but valley snowpack is always a little iffy in an El Nino year. Back to you, Michael. Big question. 
did this work prevent you from skiing today? Yes, it did. It hurt. Uh, it took a while to get up here. No skiing for me. I am working on our boss to let me go tomorrow morning for just a little bit. And there it is. And they get, I mean, look at, see, see, hey, hey, they love Durango here and they love the snow. This hasn't stopped anybody. By the way, there are more people down here, by the way, than you would believe for a snowy night. Nobody stops Fort Lewis from coming out and having a good time. Back Thanks, to you. Mark.